Hey guys, it's Megan, and should I be recording this video right now? No. Am I gonna keep recording it? Yes. Do I have laundry that needs to be folded? Yes. Am I procrastinating a little bit because I have some random burst of um, motivation to record? Yes. But this is a video I've kind of been procrastinating making for like ever, and it's a story time about something I did in May over the summer. So I thought, why not finally do the video for this? It's October when you guys are seeing this, which is crazy because I feel like September like just started and I just started going back to school and it's really weird to me that it's already October. Like you guys are seeing this I believe on October, let me check the calendar. Yeah, you guys are seeing this on October 6th. It's been October for basically a week already and it feels like September. We've been having summer weather pretty much all of fall. I mean, I guess fall just started, but it's still like summer weather and it's weird. And like, okay, so before I get into this video, I need to mention, yes, it is 10 p.m. and I should be getting ready for bed and doing like productive stuff for like adulting and all that, but I, I'm motivated to make a video. So I threw on some makeup. Like, I didn't even wear makeup today. Uh, this isn't even how I had my hair today, but like, I also wore it like this for the video because like I am shocked at how long my hair is. Like if you go back and look at my very first video, which is a cover of either a John Legend song or a Bruno Mars song, I'm not sure. Um, well at least my first video on this channel. Um, I have an old channel which if you want to see my older videos or see me react to my older videos, uh, let me know because I have this older channel that I used to run with my cousin uh, and it's embarrassing to look back at the videos I made because they were all singing videos but uh, they were not the highest quality videos but like seriously my hair has grown probably a foot since my first video it's so long and I'm so proud of it and it's very damaged but that's okay Anyways, today I'm going to get into my Tennessee story time video. Last May, I took a trip to Tennessee to go see my cousin graduate high school, which is like a huge accomplishment. But it's kind of an interesting story because it was the most adult thing I've ever done, if that makes sense, I guess. Before I get into this video, if you're new here, please subscribe because I'm so close to hitting 100 subscribers. And if you're already subscribed, uh, turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, please leave a big thumbs up because it helps me out. And go watch some of my other videos after you're done with this one because I'm trying to grow my channel. <laughs> so I have this cousin, her name is Hannah, and she is my absolute best friend. And I'm going to insert a few pictures of us probably right here. So I guess I'll sit right here while I'm talking. Well, I have those images on the screen, but she's my best friend and I've known her my entire life. Like, okay, I know that she's younger than me by like a year or like actually about nine or 10 months younger than me, but I've known her since I've started creating memories. So although she hasn't been around my entire life, she has been around since I started remembering things. She used to live in Michigan. Um, she was born in Tennessee and then my aunt moved to Michigan for a little while and then my other cousin, her younger sister, was born and then she moved back to Tennessee and my cousin Ian was born who is the youngest of the three. So here's what we looked like as babies and they're just some cute pictures. You can totally tell that we were best friends and then here's another picture from when we were like kids, not babies, but like every time she would leave town after coming to Michigan to visit, I would cry my eyes out when I had to say goodbye because I knew I wasn't going to see her for a long time and when I was a kid I didn't know if I was going to ever see her again because when you're a kid you don't realize that when people go away, they still exist. I mean, death is kind of a concept that's a little hard for kids to wrap their heads around, but like she didn't die. And like, when I was a kid I thought like, well what if she just never comes back? And I was always sad when she had to leave because I loved her, she's my best friend. And even though I barely ever see her, it's like every time we do get to see each other, it's like things aren't awkward even though she's hundreds of miles away. I still, I don't know, we just have a special connection. I text her all the time. She just started college and I'm so proud of her. She's probably better at adulting than I am and she's younger than me. She's always been better at adulting and better at everything than me, but I don't have an issue with that. She's just a great person, a great role model, a great person to look up to. And I always kind of looked up to her and that's, she's kind of the reason I wanted to be a vegetarian for a while. And that didn't really work out because I really like uh, chicken 
and turkey and fish. Like every time she'd come back into town, I would uh, be like, mom, I want to be a vegetarian. And she'd be like, you only want to do that because of Hannah. And I'm like, no, I want to be a vegetarian because of that's what I want. But really it was because of her. Uh, and I was just trying to be cool or whatever. So I was at um, the Golden Corral with my family, which is this restaurant. And it, they just opened up a new one um, in town close to where I live and my family went to go there on their opening night I believe uh, and the food was good but we brought up a conversation about when we were going to go down to Tennessee for my cousin's open house because she was graduating high school uh, and I realized that that was a week after she graduated and I really really wanted to go to her graduation because she's my best friend and I really didn't want to miss her graduating and seeing her walk and get her diploma like I really wanted to see that so I was thinking like okay so I wonder if they would let me stay with them for a week before the rest of my family gets to Tennessee because I was old enough to buy a bus ticket or a plane ticket or whatever or even drive myself down there but ultimately I weighed the pros and cons of getting a plane ticket versus a bus ticket versus driving there and driving there would have been the most expensive way because of gas because gas is expensive as heck in Michigan Surprisingly, gas in Tennessee was like 195 and it was like, are you kidding me? Because here, it was like close to $3 a gallon, and that's super, super annoying. Uh, especially with my car, because I drive a, um, a GMC Jimmy, which is a very, very gas drinking vehicle. But anyways, I guess I can move over since I'm not showing pictures right now. I weighed the pros and cons of a bus versus a plane, and I looked at the pricing of a one-way ticket on the plane, and it was like $500 to $600 at the cheapest for that day. And I was like, I'm not doing that. This is so expensive. And I looked on Greyhound to see how expensive a one-way ticket would be, and it was only like $70. And I was like, that could totally work. I can afford that. I can so afford to go to Tennessee with a bus ticket. Granted, the bus ride was 23 hours long, um, with a lot of stops in other states, but it was so much cheaper than it would have been to drive or take a plane. So that's what I ended up doing. So I, first I messaged my Aunt Miranda and I was like, so I have a question. I want to know if it would be okay if I could stay with you guys for a week before Hannah, uh, a week before the rest of my family gets to Tennessee. And she said, yeah, that would be great. And I said, but don't tell Hannah, I want to surprise her because it was the perfect opportunity to surprise the heck out of her because she would have never seen it coming and it was a great idea. So I got super excited about it. I purchased the bus ticket and then I waited when the time came around for me to get on the bus. I was really, really anxious about it because I was going to be traveling using public transportation for the first time in my life which I've never done other than taking a school bus to school, uh, which is pretty public, but like, you know that nobody's gonna hurt you on the bus unless they're like a bully or whatever, uh, which I never experienced. But you always knew you were safe on a school bus for the most part. But on this Greyhound bus that I took, I was nervous because I was gonna be on a bus with nobody I knew, and the bus ride wasn't too bad. It was a little awkward because uh, I was always sitting next to somebody and I had a window seat at least and I was reading the book I brought with me on the bus to read was The Catcher in the Rye which was a gift to me from my now ex-boyfriend but I still love the book it was my favorite book in high school I read that book as a distraction from the awkwardness of sitting next to people I didn't know and some of the time I was listening to music um, other times I tried to sleep and it just like I couldn't sleep because it was not comfortable enough to sleep without a pillow and I didn't think to get one of those neck pillows and when I was at the rest stops, which we were required to get off the bus at the rest stops, um, they were selling pillows and blankets, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money on a pillow and blanket. Like, it was $20 for a tiny, thin fleece blanket, uh, and the temperature on the bus was pretty cold, which, it's my fault for not packing a blanket, but, like, it was kind of like, uh, they wanted you to buy blankets from them, uh, even though they did recommend on the app to bring, to dress warm because uh, they like to keep the bus cold, which I thought, okay, I like being cold, so I imagine that it was just going to be like the temperature I'm usually comfortable, like, being short sleeved in, which it was a little bit uh, colder than that, so I was like debating whether or not I should purchase a blanket at the rest stops, but I decided not to because I didn't want to spend that kind of money and I would have been fine. I survived. It was just an uncomfortable 23 hours. I was in Detroit for about four hours waiting for the next bus because I did have to transfer buses at one point but I survived. Uh, it was 
funny because I was just sitting there and then I heard this lady screaming on the phone in the bathroom and that was a little nerve-wracking because I was like, oh god, I'm gonna get murdered. But I didn't get murdered, I was fine. I was just overreacting because like I'd never been alone in uh, Detroit before either. Uh, and then the next layover was like four hours in Cincinnati, which that one wasn't too bad because it was super late at night. Um, and then finally we made it to Tennessee and I got off the bus in, uh, I believe it was Chattanooga. I got off the bus at Chattanooga and my uncle came to pick me up and I brushed my teeth in the bus station bathroom because I felt gross. Uh, but then we went back to her house, dropped my stuff off, and then he told me that she was at her rehearsal for her graduation ceremony. So they were practicing what they were gonna do at the actual graduation. We came up with the idea of how I could surprise her. So him and I went to the place where she was practicing her um, rehearsal, or practicing graduation, and I brought my camera and I did record her reaction. I'll try to blur out the other students' faces because they obviously didn't give me permission to use their faces in the video. I don't know if she sees me. There she is. She's like licking her lips. You see her? Uh huh. She does not see me. She has no idea. <laughs> I don't need to record anymore. I did get her reaction on camera from when she actually realized I was there. Like, she texted her mom because she noticed that her dad was there. She didn't know that I was there, but she saw her dad and she texted her mom and said, I think dad's here, question mark. Then when she noticed I was there, she started freaking out and texting me like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, literally, that's what she did. She did OMG a bunch of times and she was like, Wait, are you here? And it was so amazing. Like one of the best moments of my life was that moment because I got to surprise her and I got to make her that happy. Honestly, I was so excited to see her because her and I, we just like, whenever we see each other after a long period of not seeing each other, we just like run up to each other and hug each other because it's just like we missed each other. We missed, I can't talk again. We missed each other so much. And I was so excited to see her and it was just a great experience all in all. So that was so fun. We spent the week together and I got to see her graduate and I'll insert some pictures here of her in her graduation gown, cap and gown, and it was just so fun and I was so happy and proud of her. And then we spent the week together at her house before my family got there and it was nice to spend some time with her before the rest of the family came to town because like, I never get to spend quality time with her. So it was so nice to stay with them and they were such great hosts and I had so much fun. We went to this little park. Uh, well, Hannah and I went to this park with our sister Grace and we just like ate Subway, I think. Subway or Jimmy John's, I can't remember. Hannah worked at Jimmy John's, but I don't think it was Jimmy John's that she got. We just sat at this park and it was so cool because in Michigan you never see stuff like rock walls. Like, you don't see that and it was like, we were at this park that was just at the end of a rock mountain type thing uh, it was at the bottom of it and it was really cool and we saw this cat and it ran away um, but it was cool to see and it was just so fun and then when my family got to town we went to this rental house that they had previously rented so I wasn't staying with Hannah anymore but we were at the rental house and it was just so fun honestly we were at this uh, house 
on the river and we had my dog there, which was nice because he doesn't always travel with us, but I'm glad we got to take him because I would have missed him so much. Actually, during this trip is when I came up with the idea for Project Thistlebush, which is a project that I do want to make a video on at some point, but I need to gather more information before I finally make a video explaining what I want this video, or what I want this project to be, but yeah, I came up with the idea when I was there because of my uncle, he is a psychologist who works for the military, so I was talking to him about this idea because I knew that he would be able to give me some tips and stuff, and it was nice to be able to talk to him about it, and he helped me come up with some ideas, and I created the Facebook page for the idea, and he's one of the admin admins on it. I'm the other one, uh, so all in all I really enjoyed the trip, it was so fun and I miss her so much and I have been procrastinating making this video forever and I just felt super motivated tonight to make a video, uh, I edited a video and uploaded it, um, which is the video you guys saw on Monday, so I decided I'm still in the productive mood because I drank a monster at like 3 p.m. because I'm an idiot. Uh, kids, I don't recommend drinking monsters because if you do, you will never stop. Because they're addicting and they're really good, even though they're full of sugar and they're terrible for you. Oh, also I forgot to mention, this shirt that I'm wearing today is a shirt that I got when I was in Tennessee. It says Chat or Udawa on it. Oh, no, it says Chattanooga. Um, but it's just a cute shirt. That's kind of like my souvenir from Tennessee, I guess. But it was just a fun experience, and I'm glad I got to do it because it was like the most adult thing I've ever done in my life, and I got to spend quality time with my best friend, which I never get to see her, and she's just such an amazing person, and I love her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and if you're not new here, make sure you're subscribed already, um, and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And after this video, try checking out some more of my videos because I don't just make talking videos, I make covers, I do makeup, and I also talk a lot about stuff nobody wants to hear about. So just let me know what you want to see me do next time and I will consider it. Also, it's October, so I'm considering doing some Halloween-ish makeup videos. I don't have a lot of special effects makeup that I can use, but I would like to try and experiment with eyeshadows and stuff and try to get an interesting makeup look. So let me know if you are interested in seeing some Halloween-ish makeups, Halloween-ish makeup tutorials, and yeah. So I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.